In this movie, we're going to take a look at file uploads. One of the nice things about Former's ability to upload files, while it is basic, is that it's there for you when you need it. You don't have to install an additional class or do additional configurations. It's part of the framework. It's right there. So all you need to do is add a file element and then tell Former what you want to do with that file, and it'll go ahead and do the upload for you. It'll also check for um, file types or MIME types rename the files, and if it's an image, resize it. So we're going to ask our user for a avatar. So let's go ahead and do that by adding a file element to our form. And we do that by putting in a input underscore file method. And we're going to pass this method two parameters. The first one being the name, which in this case is avatar. So input type equals file, name equals avatar. And then the second one will be the string. We can change this to choose an avatar. And I'm going to save that. Let's go ahead and refresh. And now you can see that we have a file element built in here. And this indeed will allow us to select an avatar. All right, so there's just a couple more things that we need to do to tell Former that we want to upload and what to do with that upload once it's processed. So I have this copy to the clipboard. I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in here and I'll explain it to you. So first thing we need to do is tell Former where we're uploading. So our upload directory um, property. In this case it's an uploads folder which we'll go ahead and create right here. So it's right next to our script. So we don't have to actually put in the full path. We can just do a relative path of uploads and Former will know that it wants to go in this folder. Now, of course we need to set the correct permissions for that and, and we'll do that in just a second. One of the other things that uh, that I actually forgot to do and I'm going to go ahead and do this right now is that we need to tell Former that we want to add the multi-part encoding type to our form tag. So we're going to use the form open multi-part function and that's all we need to do now. So now the Let's go ahead and refresh this and take a look at the HTML. Uh, there we go. So we have the ENC type of multipart slash form data. So now we know that we can go ahead and upload. And let's go ahead and select that avatar again. All right. So now we're telling Former that we want to put it into the uploads directory. So that's right here. Let's go ahead and set the correct permissions on this directory. Since we're doing this locally, it's pretty easy to do. Just drag that in there. And while I'm here, we're going to go ahead and create a couple other directories in which to upload. So we'll do one called avatar and we'll do one called TN. Okay, we're ready to go there. Let's go ahead and go back to our script. Now, the next thing we want to do is check our accepted types. In this case, I'm going to use upload accepted mimes instead of upload accepted types. Um, this is, to me, it's a little bit safer. We're not checking extensions. We're actually checking the mime type of the file. And we can put in a string of, like if we wanted to accept JPEGs or PDFs or something like that, then we could put in that mime type. In this case, we're going to be accepting images. So I can just go ahead and tell Former we just want images and it's going to allow JPEGs, PNGs, and GIFs. The next thing we're going to do is resize our image. So we're going to put our resize parameters into an array and then we're going to tell Former what we want to do with it. So let's take a look at that real quick. So here's our array key. We can name this anything we want. I could call this Steve. It doesn't matter. Um, this is just human readable. So this just lets me know that this is large, this is thumbnail, and this is avatar. This is solely for me. Of course, since they're array keys, each one of them has to have a, a unique name but we can name them anything we want. So let's take a look at these parameters. First off, you'll notice it's just one big string that's comma separated. Each parameter is comma separated. This is just so that you can do this very quickly. You don't have to sit there and create different uh, methods or different variables or something to be able to do what you want to do here. Just type it all out in a string. So first parameter is the maximum width. So if we upload an image that's 1,200 pixels wide, but we only want it to be 600, this will resize it. Of course, if it's 500, it will not be resized to 600. 
So this is the maximum height, same thing. So all we're doing with our large image is just resizing it. Here's our thumbnail image. Again, resizing it. 100 max wide, 100 max high. We're going to prepend it with the name TN. And we're also going to put it in a TN directory, which is right here. If we don't put in a directory, then former is going to assume that we're going to use this one right here that we've put there. So I could scratch that if I wanted to, but I want to put it into a separate directory. So I'm going to put the full path there. Um, the last parameter is the JPEG quality. Um, the default quality for former is 80, the compression quality. We're going to go ahead and say we want to use 90 for this one. And in this last one, we're going to go ahead and resize our avatar, 64 by 64. We don't want to pre prepend it with a file name. And we're going to go ahead and put it into our avatar directory. And then what we do is we take this resize array and we just pass it through to the upload underscore resize property. And that's it. That's really all that we need to do to go about uploading images in Former. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this up so that we can process the form and then see what happens with our uploaded images. So I'm going to check to see if the form has actually been submitted. And then now what I'm going to do is tell Former, OK, take this avatar field right here, and we're going to put that into, we're going to set it up as a variable, but it will still be an array. So you'll, you'll see in a second. So I'm going to use the post method, and I'm just going to say avatar. That's it. That's all I need to do. Now Former's going to go ahead and upload and resize. And let me, let me go ahead and print out an array of this as well so that we can see what we've done. So what I'm using here, former has its own little print R function built in so that it, instead of having to type out echo pre and all that nonsense, we can just go ahead and do it right here. And it's really, really quick and really easy. All right. So we have our avatar. I'm going to go ahead and reload this just in case. Let's go ahead and select our avatar. We'll go ahead and submit the form. Let me hide this just so we can see what happens here. All right. So you can see that the images have been uploaded. And here's an array with all of our images, the sizes and everything. So here's our avatar image. There's our full size image. And then there's the thumbnail that we specified as well. So really fast and really simple uploading images.